Hello, internet. How's it going? I'm going to create um, a really easy Ember app today, and it's going to—it's called Yolo Brolo. And the point of this is actually to show you how to um, create a, a, a simple Ember app. How to—we're going to demo the router. We are going to show you how to use components. And we're also going to show you how to use the each helper to create a really simple app. And I'm going to do it with materialized CSS. So first things first, I created a quick um, demo app on the internet already. So I can actually do, let's see, I can actually do Embracer. Show you guys that really quickly. I'll just pull up my local host. There we go. This is my YOLO Brolo Ember app. And then let me go ahead and open up Atom. So for those of you new to Ember, which if you're watching this, you probably are. This is a YOLO Brolo app. This is what Ember CLI does for you. It gives you a live reload. Um, I use Materialize CSS. What I've done is I've just created a simple nav bar, um, which is a component in Ember, and then this. So this is the, let me just show you the quick like, file structure of an Ember application. So number one, we have the um, router.js file right here. This is where all your routes are defined. Um, and then we have a templates folder and we have um, the templates folder right here. This has all your HTTPS files, which are the HTML files. And then in the components, right, you have the navbar, which is what I actually created. Um, application.hbs is an important one, so this is where your router outlet is. Um, and then this is where, like, for example, I mean, I don't usually put anything on here um, except for, like, let's say the nav bar or maybe a footer. Um, if I comment out the nav bar, for example, the nav bar disappears, but if I comment back in, you'll see that the nav bar, which is actually just a component, um, is rendered. So this is the nice little nav bar right here. Um, and then those three links, those three links are where we're going to actually hook up the router. So I've already created um, two routes. I've created an about route and a featured route. This website, I have a bunch of videos that I want to go ahead and um, each over. So I need to go ahead and create um, a route. And it's actually really easy with Ember. You just say Ember G route. And then we'll call the route videos. There you go. And what you'll see is when you create the route, um, it'll create a .js file for you, an HBS file for you. It'll actually update the router for you as well. And it'll create tests for you. Um, and you can actually see it in the router.js. You'll see we just created videos right here. You have the videos HBS file. Um, and then actually, so on the router, what you can also do is you can actually also define your um, like a separate route or sorry not a separate route a default route so I want to actually have featured in here so we'll say path um, and then we'll do a backslash right there and so what will happen is right featured will always show up when the route is not defined okay now let's go ahead and go into the nav bar. And so what we're gonna use here is we're gonna use Ember's link to helper. Um, I really love handlebars. Link to, I don't know why, it's just so pretty. Maybe it's just because Ember was my first love. So link to, and then we're gonna go ahead and define the route right here. So we want this to be featured, and then we're just gonna call it featured. Okay, there we go, we have featured right there, all right. Um, and then let's go ahead and do this for the rest of the routes that we want. Then we have videos. Videos. And then we have about right here. And we have about right here. Ta-da! Okay, so this should all work right there. About, featured, and videos. So now in my videos, um, file I actually want, so I want a ton of videos, right? And I'm going to put all these videos in a card. And so what I don't want to do is I don't want to have like a ton of messy HTML that I'm like updating all over time. I just want like an array of data that I can iterate over and then a really nice component 
hard, right? So let me go ahead and generate a component. So generating components in Ember is really easy. Ember G component. And then we'll call it video card. There we go. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and just like test out that the video card will render. Um, you can say, hi, this is video card. Right? Um, I want to, well, well, also like on the video's route, as you can see, these have a little bit of styling in it. So on the video's route, let's go ahead and do that as well. Um, where is it? So let's add some styling to the video route. Okay, videos.hbs. Okay, so now we have Yolo Brolo videos right here. Okay, now what we want to do is we want to go ahead and render out, what do we call that component? We called it video card. Video card right here. And you'll see, hi, this is a video card. Okay, so that works, which is awesome. Now what we want to do is we want to get some styling into that. Um, so for the video card, uh, we'll go ahead and add that in and you'll see I have a really nice card and it has three pieces of data that I would like to change so it's the title it's the actual video and then it's the um, who I did the, the thing with right so this video card is its own individual component which means that there's a video card.js file and I just want to go ahead and add a an array in there um, and I created a nice one for a time. Okay, and then I'll go ahead and export this. All right, and you'll see that, you know, it's just model and then title, people, video link, right? All right, so that's there. And then let's go ahead. And so this is where we're actually going to be using the, um, oops, in the video card, got HBS file. This is where we're, gonna, where we're going to be using the each helper, right? which will help us iterate over the data. Okay, so like, let's see, this is just like the link to helper each, and then each, go ahead and put this back in. And then we say model as, and then we define a local variable, which will be, let's call it video. Okay, and you'll see that these are showing up, but now what I wanna do is go ahead and actually say, okay, this is where the uh, video.title, I called it in the array, should be, okay. So you can see all the titles are actually changing right here. This is the thing I love about programming with the CLI, um, that you know, if I do something wrong, like I do this, for example, you'll actually be able to see on line seven did not match tag on line six, right? So I can just go ahead and put that back. So I always like to have this, maybe, maybe this is like my first foray into like test-driven development or whatever, because I'm testing until the things, well, actually that's not true. Whatever, it's awesome. Okay, so <laughs> let's see, video title. Okay, so now I need to go back and I need to do, this is, I just need to change the URL for this. So this is video dot uh, video title, I believe I called it. Okay, and then the person I need to change as well. So this is video dot people. All right, and there you go. So we have, no, no, that doesn't work. Video dot video title. Oh, that's right, video link. I'm so smart. Okay, there you go. All right, there we go. So we have all the separate videos for Yolo Brolo. We have the titles, we have the names, we have our router that works. You guys learned how to set up a simple router um, for Ember, how to use it. Um, you guys learned how to generate a route, how to generate components, how to use the link to helper, and how to use the each helper. And that is our demo. Hope you guys enjoy it. It's pretty easy, right? You can find me on the internet at some point in time. Maybe we come say hi, hang out.
or you can also follow Medium, and I will be posting um, an article about this soon. So please let me know what you think.